Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this late edition of the Sunday News at 10. We begin with hospitals throughout the country, obviously overwhelmed with patients as they experience a sh shortage of health care workers. That's also the case right here in Idaho. But there's another challenge that health care workers face in the Wood River Valley, talking about a lack of affordable housing. Our Katya Stepovic is following the story for us tonight. It's an interesting one, Katya. You learn St. Luke's is taking steps to help out uh, and being very creative about that. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. It's a project that has been in the making for years, but just last week, St. Luke's Wood River broke ground on a new affordable housing project that will bring affordable housing to a dozen healthcare workers and their families. Once they look into the availability of affordable um, homes, again, to rent or to own, and the cost of living in our community, it becomes very difficult for them to accept a position with us. Aaron Pafley, Director of Community Health and Engagement at St. Luke's Wood River, says right now the hospital has 69 available positions. About a third of them are nursing positions. Um, and you can imagine the importance of having nurses on staff. But potential candidates are turning down the jobs because of a lack of affordable housing in the Ketchum area. Current employees are feeling the strain, going to desperate lengths just to have a roof over their heads. But we have RV hookups in our um, parking lot, and we absolutely have staff that are, are living in that parking lot um, so that they can continue working for us or have or have moved here have not been able to find an affordable home and so are living in their RV until they have a solution. Pafley adds not only has cost of living skyrocketed in the valley, but some property owners are converting their monthly rentals into seasonal vacation properties. It's limiting supply, but now there's a glimpse of hope. This way, if we start with income and let income drive the rents, we're able to ensure affordability for specific households. This is Michelle Griffith, the executive director of a nonprofit development organization called Arch. They've been developing homes in the Wood River Valley since 2009. She says when a project came up to help healthcare heroes, the board voted unanimously to make land available for the hospital's program. The beauty of this program is that it's just us in the hospital. There's the federal government is involved, the state isn't involved, and so we can do whatever we need to do to make sure that these employees are well looked after. The funding will come from St. Luke's Health System and St. Luke's Wood River Foundation to build the homes. Arch will develop four homes on three different locations, two in Haley and one in Bellevue. She adds that Arch has been saving money up for years and that the community and donors have been very generous to provide health care workers with affordable housing. It, it, it has been an issue for a long, long time. It's unfortunate that we're now at such an extraordinary crisis, um, I, I suppose. And, and But the good news is that the, the a crisis brings people together and galvanizes the community. It's truly just one component of, you know, the development of a long-term workforce housing um, strategy. So I, I hope that it not only keeps um, our employees here, but does make us more attractive for the recruitment um, from out of state or out of community employees. St. Luke's has not disclosed how much this project will cost them. They did break ground on one of those lots about a week ago. Those four homes will be done within the next 12 months. But according to Arch, no employee will be paying more than 30% of their income for these new homes. Mark. It's such a great idea. We hear stories all the time about folks that work at that hospital commuting from Mountain Home and even Boise. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be like that. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to make sure it won't be. Yeah. All right, Katia, very interesting. Thank you.